battle with brain cancer. He was just 32 and he leaves behind family, friends, loved ones, and an impact felt throughout our community. Fox 4's Leslie Dallas Board brings you the story of Chris Reed. As you hear these notes, they have a different meaning now to the family of Christopher Reed. The 32-year-old tragically lost his life to glioplastoma, a rare brain disease that all started with a headache August 3rd. His mother, a registered nurse, says the impact this disease had on her son was aggressive, but Chris continued fighting. Because the tumor was sitting in the left side, of his brain in the speech center right behind his left eye, that Chris would lack the ability to speak or to comprehend language. Um, he was able to be discharged from the hospital seven days after from ICU. Until Chris's body took a turn for the worst. After radiation and chemotherapy, even taking a trip to Jamaica, his intestines started to fail, causing his family to make one of the toughest decisions of their lives. We decided then that we would then place him on hospice. Chris passed in the comfort of his home January 29th, 2021. But his mother says during his last hours, the community Chris impacted helped set his spirit free. The, the night of the 28th, they had um, a phone, Zoom phone per group, and there was over 200 and, and I think 20 something people that was on that call. And Christopher was not able to speak, but he was able to hear. He was much more comfortable with his pain. And so we felt that that prayer session just ushered Christopher into the arms of God. I sat down with his special friend, Alyssa Smith, who says Chris not only changed her life, but everyone around him, especially the members of his church at Mount Hermon Ministries, where Chris was active in youth ministry, ordained as a minister, and grace the congregation with the sound of the keys. I remember after surgery, Chris wanted to come to church. Now keep in mind, he was not supposed to be able to talk. He was not supposed to be able to talk, uh, walk. And he was never supposed to be able to play the, the keys. And it was just something about seeing him continue his ministry with a diagnosis like that. A son, brother, friend, and mentor gone too soon, impacting the lives of an entire community. Chris Reed left a mark that will never be forgotten. It's not going to be the same without Chris, but again, his legacy will live on. We will continue to remember him, and we will continue to um, do what we need to do to make sure that we get to see Chris again. In Cape Coral, Leslie Dellisbor, Fox 4 News.